What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. We got buying a wreck supercar in Dubai. In Dubai, I ain't peep that part. Yeah, man, we here with Strad, man, man. Y'all mm -hmm. know Strad, man. Strad, man. Hold on, let me let y'all see. Strad, man. The Strad, man. He's really the best car YouTuber on YouTube. Y'all know he's, if you don't know his story, just a brief, you know, summary. He started his car. He started on YouTube doing cars, living in his car in LA, car watching. One of his Bugatti videos blow up, and now he the man he is today, man. Long story short. So he said he bought a red car in Dubai. Y'all know, man, Dubai. Y'all already know about Dubai. You got some videos in your watch later, bro. Long, arduous journey, 7,000 miles, 27 hours later, three continents. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dubai. Welcome back to United Arab Emirates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the... The dude said that so fast, I ain't gonna lie, I can't tell you not one word he said, but continents. Hey, that boy, hey, he, he like a mini Mr. Beast in the form of how he do his content. Well, that it's been a crazy. long, arduous journey, 7,000 miles, 27 hours later, three continents. 27 hours to get to Dubai? If it's in a plane, I don't want to go. I don't like the planes that much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dubai. Welcome back to United Arab Emirates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. SC30 Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That guy's a G. He did that for us. I like that guy. Now, I don't want to drop too much knowledge on you guys, but the Burj Khalifa <laughs> is the highest freestanding structure in the world. 2,716 points. Who man is He making me tired. Hey, man, be going crazy. Who oh, man is this, bro? Man, be going crazy. That boy got this much injured the whole video, I guarantee it. Let me take a deep breath. Nigga took, you took a deep breath for I him. Took a deep breath for him. <laughs> Five feet. I definitely 100% did not look that up on Wikipedia. The tallest building in the world. It is so crazy. If you've never been to Dubai, you gotta come here because seeing this building in real life <laughs> is simply jaw dropping. So today, boys, we are going supercar and hypercar shopping in Dubai. Hey. I would reckon yeah, per yeah. capita, there are more cars in Dubai like my daddy, like my daddy say, I can bet my bottom dollar. He do crap. <laughs> that Trying boy be on one. Like you listen to that man's story, you'll understand. Though that boy really passionate about what he doing, he made the way, man. But and anywhere in the world, the supercar game here in oh Dubai is goodness. out of control. What is that? That man wrecked my clip. There's an SC30 Huracan with a purple Urus right there. That brother man. That man just stood in one spot he in got Dubai. All these cars, though. And seen so much craziness, bro. Like, what's going on? Completely ruined my moment, but it doesn't matter. It was a Urus and a Huracan. That was crazy, though. He you. He I know. He thought I was filming him. The color palette here is so crazy. <laughs> STO and Verde Citrate. With that man ain't walked nowhere. He didn't seen over five supercars. Orange accents. I dig that. I like that color. I think it's pretty That's cool. way good. I hate to be that guy, but that front end lift is up, which means that guy has not gone over 31 miles. I can't lie. I see why he blew a co watch. And just watching this hard, I can imagine being there. Like, crazy. Power in his Lamborghini wide body Urus, though. I like that a lot. That's sick. Sophia and I are debating right now. The girl driving this white Urus looks just like the Bentley girl. You know who I'm talking about. She does all the TikToks where she's like, Bentley, Jeep Lamborghini, Lamborghini. You know who I'm talking about. Exactly That's her. That is her. 100% that is her. That's her. That's 100% her. her. What? Told, we were right. I told 100% you. 100% white yeah, Urus. We that's found crazy her. crazy that they spotted her in Dubai like that. That's so crazy. Do lot. the best impression. This video has only been a minute and forty. It's a lot going on, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's like Mr. Beast thing. That boy was going crazy. Jeep or Jean? Jeep or Jean? If you guys have not seen my YouTube short, Jeep or Jean? I don't know about you guys, but the new Maserati NC20 convertible, that thing's sick. I want one of those. It has a V6 twin turbo, which is not ideal, but on the road here in Dubai. Why the states can't be like this, bro? Like, he ain't nowhere special. He just in Dubai. Riding and whatever he were into. He just see everything. Bro, we are a minute and 58 seconds in this video, bro. We just seen so that many cars. That is a pink that is a chimney. That is a pink Brabus Jimny with blue interior. We gotta park. We have to park Clayton Star. Diamond. That is his all-time dream car in his dream car spec. We have seen the coolest cars in the world, but I would reckon this right here. This is a Brabus Jimny that goes from pink to purple with a yellow and blue interior. This is my buddy Clayton's absolute dream car in my dream car spec. Like this combines 
the best of both worlds. This thing is so sick. So it's a Suzuki Jimny that has a Brabus kit to make it look like a mini G-Wag. This color palette is so crazy. This does not even feel real. I am convinced that Dubai is a simulation. This makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, so, start up, cold start up. That sounds proper. Oh, where he get the keys from? What's going on? <laughs> Bro, he just end up in the car like he turned. I thought he was just looking at the car. It's a cloud car. This is amazing. Why are Jimny's not legal in the United in States the of America? It has a. It's got the starlight with pink lights. It just legal. gets better and better. You look beautiful. I mean, you look beautiful and everything, but I think a Suzuki Jimny fits you just a little bit right better. Here? It just. Seems proper. I'm gonna buy one of those for you someday. I am. I'm gonna do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What it's are you like saying? A little Barbie doll. That's, That's why you're gonna love it. It's like a little mini Brabus G wagon. To give you guys the full perspective, that is a G wagon. That is a Suzuki Jimny with the G wagon body kit. You can see proportionally. Oh, it's about. That's a super little car, but they they spruce it up like a G wagon. It's crazy. I ain't never owned by that boy. Nobody cars for sure. For sure, for sure. The size. I keep saying that the Jimny is not allowed in the United States of America. Well, it just so happens that my beautiful girlfriend Sophia is not an American citizen. <laughs> they are legal in Canada. Are they? They are, 100%. I'm gonna be the first to admit, I don't know everything about Porsche, but I know a 997 GT2 in that color, that's crazy. So I have absolutely no idea where we are in Dubai, but there are just supercars dumped everywhere. We got two Nissan GTRs. And check out this Maybach right here. Like, what is going on? Please, there was a time and place. That... Check out this Maybach. It was one of the most expensive cars money could buy, and now it's just sitting up on concrete blocks. We have a Huracan right there, and we have a man in a van. Look at the color on this Porsche GT3. Man, that bro. is beautiful. I don't know how to describe that, but I like it. Oh. Just let me get one car, bro. Let me just shoot one of them right to the doorstep, because this is crazy. Take it. Little OG orange guy, Aro. Uh oh, a little bit of a dent. No big deal. I can buff out. Stop. Ferrari 599 GTO, the Gran Turismo Amalagato. Like one of the craziest things about Dubai is how aesthetically pleasing it is, because think about it. We're in the middle of the desert, and there are flowers in bloom everywhere. I don't even want to figure out how much water this takes to keep these babies alive. It's absolutely beautiful. I just love how every single place you go, no matter what, there are Lamborghinis everywhere. Green Huracan Spider right there. So I'm on the hunt for my next supercar, which leads me to today's video sponsor, Vero. For the last couple of months, I've been looking for my new supercar and I've narrowed it down to three final choices, but there's a slight caveat. All three cars have been crashed. All three cars need to be rebuilt. We're finally gonna do our first supercar rebuild series on YouTube and I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna post a photo of each car on my Vero. I want you guys to go like I want you guys to go comment go vote tell me which car yeah, you think I should buy yeah. for my first rebuild yeah, post on here what Vero? Vero. Yeah, I might need to go join you got seven eight thousand followers what do you say that was Vero I know what that is oh let me look that right quick man y'all know about that Vero I ain't never heard of that Vero might be some new I don't know what it could be I know they ain't on social media series now I've been on Vero for the last year and the supercar community is blowing up check out the link in the description below you can actually download Vero for free give me a follow my username is at the Stradman and on Vero there's no ads and there's no algorithm now I've been posting on Vero for the last year and it's been so much fun interacting and engaging with you guys for example the vanity plate for the Koenigsegg the license plate Agera HH 6200 likes was the clear winner now I got to verify with the Utah and DMV that that license plate is actually available you can see the road trip across uh, Canada with the Huracan Strato so be doing donuts like an absolute champ where did you learn to drive like that yes ma'am yes ma'am i taught her everything that's she so knows hard, also the video quality is that's so hard that's so i ain't never seen anybody do donuts no lamb that's so hard and the girl did it i ain't even did a donut before all i ate was a donut Extra jelly. <laughs> so incredible on Vero when the Hamilton collection was here, trying to buy the next hypercar, the LM002 road trip, the carbon fiber event to build. And if you click this photo, the Mercy SV, click the hashtag it's cars. So you can see there is so that. much car content on Vero. And as I said, as soon as this video drops, I'm gonna post a photo of each car on my Vero that needs to be rebuilt. I want you guys to go in there. I want you guys to vote. I'm so curious to see which car you're gonna like the best. They're all very, very, very cool. Check out the link in the description below and join me on Vero. The three cars that I'm looking at, one is an NAV12. There's another NAV12 and, and, and there's a NAV10. Maybe I said too much. Look at that thing. 
What? Okay, we gotta park. I'm not personally like the biggest fan of the Bentley Bentayga. This thing is crazy. Full turquoise exterior, full turquoise interior. You have all the exposed. The thing he know about every single car. And the details. I'm gonna say masonry. I don't even know what that is. Carbon fiber, the porch carbon fiber, the Mansory Bentayga. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I got Ooh. That's a Milano folks. Let's step on inside. This thing keys. is crazy. The interiors here in Dubai are absolutely next level. This is 10 of 10. Look at this thing. What? They do it best in Dubai. I would be mad if all your cars were this good. Okay, okay. The turquoise army. Yeah. Dealerships here in Dubai are out of control. We have the Mansory Stallone Ferrari A12. The spec on this thing is so good. I've been doing a lot of back and forth trying to decide, do I want to get this kit for my 812? It looks absolutely insane. I love this color. I don't know. I think that would be the craziest 812 build ever. I love it. I don't even know exactly what's going on right now. You'd notice the FF, sure. But what happened to that guy? What is going on? That Kia got nailed. And then we have the highlighter green Ferrari FF. Um, no comment. No comment. Well, welcome here to VIP Motors, one of the best supercar and hypercar dealerships in the world. Well, they say timing is everything. Check this out. A 1 of 40 Bugatti Devo here at V. 1 of 40, bro. Bugatti Devo. Like, look at this car, man. That's a car, car. That's a car. That's a car, car. That's a car, car, car. <laughs> IP Motors, the mad blue, this thing is absolutely ridiculous, and as luck would have it, I'm going for a ride. The interior on this car is absolutely out of control. One of my favorite details, right down the center, you can see it's actually lighter blue on that side and darker blue on this side. David, so damn, boy, I'm like a Tesla, it's so simple, straight to the point. No need, it ain't no it tech in there. You got no back seat, Jim. It's just the coolest effect. And of course, you got the center seat as well for sheer on. Blue carbon here in the direct sunlight is so incredibly beautiful. You got the bronze wheels with the French flag as well. The side profile on this car is absolutely killer. Both Sophia and I are absolutely in love with this mansion of yours. I can't take my That's eyes tough. off of the interior. It's the almost a Miami of interior. Cars in Dubai is like crazy. That's why we can't get nothing in the States. They hogging it all over there. You feel me? I think the mansion is like the bar. Barber joint, they can, it's like an inside design kind of stuff. It matches the Miata perfectly. I just cannot figure out how you actually get in the back seats, but I guess in this thing, it doesn't really matter. You got all the kind of like forged carbon fiber. The design of this thing is so sick. It's like a color shift satin matte paint that goes from purple to turquoise to blue. The start button. I just thought about it. the key, the same color That's too. Car. I can't do them, but just shake my head right here. This thing is actually on the ceiling. Ready? Let's hear it. Straight pipe, twin turbo V. Now streaming on Hulu. I love you! What are they doing? Letting us in a place this nice. Oh my gosh! That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure. Everybody. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure you ain't even supposed to start no car inside like that. But he can. Hey, let that man do whatever. So that the problem is, it's worth going to a million dollars. Oh, hey, don't get too excited now. I think we might have found your favorite car. I Maybe. Like this thing is so crazy. Lamborghini should have made a two-door Urus. It just gives it like a sportier feel. And this carbon fiber design, I don't know exactly how they did this, but that is so unique. You have three spoilers. And of course, anytime you come to VIP Motors, you have to get the bird's eye perspective. Okay, Sophia, you can only have one car here. What are you taking? The wire, purple carbon wire. I love it. I love it. I think I would take also purple Ford GT is sick. I think I take the Lafa Perta. But this perspective on the AMG one, so you can pick that up for a cool six point three three million dollars. Six point three three million dollars. Man, I've never seen that Mercedes before. Man. Never even seen it on a picture. Never seen it. Never seen it in my life. Man. Veyron Vitesse too. I love this perspective. This is absolute insanity. Six ain't even no reason to have that many supercars in one spot, bro. Why you spread them around the world? <laughs> hey, this shit wasn't about to go. Jesus Christ, they got every car. Every supercar in the history. Y'all just stingy, man. Golly. Then how you even get all them cars in there? You know how long them cars had to be? Then they had to park them so perfect. 
Imagine if I want to buy million. one. We have I'm going to want that one right there. Oh, you gonna be all day getting that car? You gonna get that <laughs> car? Tetris. Yeah, and they gonna and you gonna pay for that too. You gonna pay for the movie fee? Fortunately, we don't. But maybe someday we will. You never know. That is a Rolls Royce drop head. Are you kidding me? Yellow? That's sick. I want to get one of those, and I want to turn it into an off-road monster. Yay or nay? Yeah, I want to Yes, ma'am. I think the main road through Dubai might Who be. Who y'all know other than him? Y'all right? go. Y'all go watch it. Oh, they probably close. Y'all go watch another one of his videos. He, he has an off-road Lamborghini. Never in my life heard it. That the man different. Craziest roads in the entire world. Like I feel like I'm living in some kind of fantasy world. It almost feels like CGI. The buildings are so crazy, so tall. You have the Museum of Dubai right there. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sheikh Zayed Road in central Dubai. One of the craziest parts about all this, none of this existed 35 years ago in the year 1990. Like, none of this. This is all new construction. You can see the tallest hotel there in the world, the Javora Hotel. This place, I mean, just the colors and the different styles of architecture is just insanity. That skyscraper looks like a complete ripoff of the Singapore one, but who cares? Who cares? And of course, the Burj Khalifa. This place, craziest city in the world. Welcome to Dubai. Timing has got to be perfect right here. The Singapore building is going to perfectly frame the Burj Khalifa right, right there. Perfect money. Seems like the number one car here in the Middle East is a Brabus G-Wagon, especially in a crazy color. I like that blue. It's almost a Brabus. A Brabus? Barbus? I thought it was Barbus. Brabus G-Wagon. Hyper blue. Okay, speed bump. Hold on. Race. <laughs> SF90. There are so many dealerships here, it's ridiculous. Well, anytime you come to Dubai, you gotta visit a lane class, and right inside the showroom, I see three cone executives. Well, we've been to some pretty beautiful places in our day, but I don't think we have ever been anywhere more beautiful than a lane class motor cars. We have the Agera R, the Regera, and another Regera, and all three, ironically, are full exposed carbon fiber. And this Agera R, I actually spotted this car in California. Bro, it's so it's just so much. He talks so much. You really can't say nothing but just you can't look say nothing. like you can't do nothing. Can't even keep up, for real. Like he will leave gotta, you. Man, look, at, look at the look at this band. Man, that's tough. Then he got he got a fully carbon fiber carbon. supercar with carbon fiber rims, bro. Like I want to say in 2016, 2017, white interior too. So the Agera R can run on the E85, so my car is in a Gara S, it doesn't have the E85, so this car has about 15 to 20 percent more horsepower. This spec gives me a little bit of envy, but I also love my car too. And then this Regera, full blue carbon fiber. Look at, with the, look at the window, the windows on them all. Uh, One windshield wiper too. And it gotta uh, stay up in the middle, cause it can't go down, it's got a window shape. That's tough. That white interior, one car, you can pick. Here, what are you taking? The barrel. Sophia's inspecting the waffle carbon fiber. I want and now you want waffle love. love. You want waffle love. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at the carbon fiber weave waffle on this Mansory Veyron. It is a waffle weave. A waffle weave. Yeah. Weave. Waffle weave. That sounds very, very technically correct. Accurate. Absolutely. The Mansory Veyron, though, I tell you what, Mansory, a lot of people love them. A lot of people hate them. I'm a believer. Immediately straight to the back. To check out the like Countach, the LPI 800. And we're getting more exclusive yeah, access oh, here at Elaine oh, Class. Oh, there is a second hidden showroom with a red Carrera GT, an SLS Black Series. What well, think about him? He can walk in the room and name every car there, every single one of them. This place is crazy. 675 LT. We have an Eleanor, a 765 LT, and of course a P1 GTR. If I had a Regera, I would just open it and close mm -hmm. it. 20 Right. Mm. That. You talking about that? This one right here? Talking about that little? This my this? Mm mm. Oh. That one. Oh my goodness! Like a Genesis. Don't. I don't know. Probably no Genesis. And no, of course, a P1 GTR. Oh, if I one, had a Regera, I would just open it and close it 24/7. It is just the coolest party trick. And the interior on this one is absolutely beautiful. Christian von Koenigsegg, I gotta salute you. There's just nothing cooler than this. Automatic. Oh my goodness. Oh. My oh my. This oh, full oh, carbon oh. fiber is just absolutely mesmerizing to look at. Well, you hate to see her go, but goodness gracious. A full carbon lineup 
of Koenig Sags. Now that, that is a spot, Chiron Super Sports. Welcome to Q, Mo Q Motor, Q Motors. Oh my, oh my, oh, ladies and gentlemen. The super car plays, the super car plays, the super car plays, the super car plays. That's play. what they, the like, they got play. that many super car places, bro. I ain't seen a super car place in my life. And they got all on it. <laughs> what? And welcome to actual heaven on earth. Are you kidding me? This is... And I know they're not shipping these supercars from Dubai. I really want to know how they getting these cars out of here. Like, these cars is it too close to They don't do it for sure. It's like a showroom. Then you know they got to keep all on from being dusty. Insanity. If you guys like Lamborghinis, they got those. If you like Ferraris, yep, they got those as well. Every single color, every single spec imaginable. What? This is a Joker spec that is Viola Hong Kong with a green interior F8. I'm not gonna say I'm a fan, but I'm- Dad, he talking about he ain't no fan. Dad more too hard. Okay, the chrome and the chrome on the Veyron and another LaFerrari. I don't even know how many LaFerraris we've seen. I feel like we've seen half the production oh, yeah. and they're all red with a black roof. And of course, we gotta check out Man, the Mirage shoes. GT, the Gimbala Mirage. It's real life, just like shoes, bro. There'd be so many pairs you want. So many colors. And you just want all of them. You can't get no car with their outfit, boy. <sighs> One of the greatest kits of all time. The spec on this thing is killer V10 manual. Yes, sir. One car I've never fully understood is the McLaren Elva. How amazing does it feel to drive 70 miles an hour in a car without a windshield eating a bugs? bugs yeah. yeah, a lot, a lot of bugs. I mean, they probably have a little bit of protein, but probably not enough protein to make it worth it. So McLaren Elva, this car is worth like two point whatever million dollars. And Great. You gotta have that. No, that they race it too. You gotta have a helmet. They want to call you gotta have a whole helmet to drive a car. That's crazy. It's crazy. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd drive. I don't think I'd drive it. I really wouldn't. Well, that is pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Oh, I told you guys. I made a proclamation that Dubai has the best supercars, the best hypercars in the world, yeah. and I think. It's I thought it was Kevin. I, I heard it too. So they must be a slow car. Yeah, he said I only go 70 miles per hour. I don't know. Mm. Safe to say, I rest my case. I know that bombs up today's video. It's look. over. Well, it's been a long. Hey man, that man, Mr. Scray, y'all know him. Well, y'all don't. Now you do. That man yeah. got too many cars, and he just he the car guy on YouTube. Y'all go check him out, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, cause he'll keep you entertained with some cars. Now I ain't go catch. If you like cars, like, that boy you know, got too many like flavors. I can't lie. Got flavor, man. Y'all check him out, man. Let us know uh, what videos y'all want us to do. And yeah, stay out of the